Hello, welcome back to Alice in the Wonderland. If you're dating, you might take something away from this video. It might be a little bit educational. I think dating has changed so much, you know, and people, they are wild now. So what happened with me? I basically brought a date home and then she asked me to play music. Maybe, maybe you think, okay, that's not scary, but it is scary because do, do you have a music playlist for, for sex? I have two little nephews, so I, my playlist includes head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, that can't play that really. I love Cher, so I have a lot of Cher songs on my playlist, but I don't know, is Cher the right person to listen to during sex? Turn back time, I don't know. So maybe maybe I was thinking maybe not share maybe not share I was like okay maybe maybe not share but then what else I had quite a lot of sad times in the last years years no not so long but in the at the end of last year it was everything was sad so I have a lot of sad songs as well like a suicide playlist not not bad not that bad but I have a really 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 sad playlist so basically when you listen to it you cry first song cry I can link the songs below if you want to have a cry for sex it doesn't work you don't want to have your date start crying and you as well you know everyone is sobbing <laughs> no that's not that's not so good maybe because i have this membership now with this music things here i can access all the music it's pretty cool um so with that i was just thinking maybe i do a happy playlist but do you want a happy playlist for sex you don't want to people be happy and sing along also I give you one tip, my tip of the day. If you want to have sex with a British person, there's one song you are not allowed to play. This one song is called, what is it called? <laughs> Wait, I, I have it under control. This song is called Bohemia Rhapsody. Is that right? Rh Rhapsody? Yeah, it's a difficult word. Never ever, ever, ever play that if you want to have sex with a British person. If you play that song, that's it. That's it. They just start to sing along, to dance. Mama, I just killed a man. Mama Mia, Mama Mia. They have that as well, right? It's a really long song as well. It's like 20 minutes long. The British people go for that song. Like, I've never ever seen something else like that. They just go mad. Mama, Mama, Mama. And they forget to have sex with you. With an Irish person, also, I have a song that you should not put on for an Irish person. It's the fairy tale of New York. Is that the one? It's like this Christmas song. Don't do it. They go mad as well. They just dance off, sing off and forget to have sex with you. If you want to have sex with an Austrian, one song you should never play, David Hasselhoff. Limbo do, limbo dance, everybody gets a chance. Clap your hand, it's limbo time, do the limbo dance. I love it. I love it. For us in Austria, David Hasselhoff is basically our Freddie Mercury. Yeah, we go crazy with him. Maybe it's just a little bit of classical, chill out music. You don't want it to be too chilled out, like in a massage, you know, when people just fall asleep. You also don't want it to be too. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I know it's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. I googled it. I literally googled da 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 da. <laughs> and it came up with Beethoven's music. Because the thing is, if you have this da 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 if you have that and you're still kissing, it's like, no, it's, it's, it feels wrong. You already have to be at least naked at that point. If you are still kissing, you almost become like a choreographer, like a little bit of a Pina Bausch, you know, this choreographer. It's like, okay, stop everyone. Let's go back to the top. We have to be quicker here. We have to be in our final position, everyone. The music has a tempo, it has a rhythm, it has a style. You can't just put music on and ignore it in the background. You have to match it. It's very, very stressful. Okay, maybe, maybe classical music is actually not the right thing. It is too emotional, too, to, you know, to, too deep or too filled. Maybe I just go for a DJ because DJs, these songs the DJs play, they normally don't have too many lyrics, you know, because you don't want a lyric to confuse the person you have sex with. If you play like a virgin and they just look up and say like, oh, are you a virgin? I don't know why they kiss me here and then look into my face. <laughs> I don't know what they kiss. No. But you know what I mean? You don't want that person to stop kissing you and then say like, oh, hold on a second. 
Do you want to tell me something? Are you a virgin? Like, uh, no, no, not. Am I? I don't know. If I haven't had sex for four months, am I then? I don't know. Do you become a virgin backwards? So my point was, because, yeah, I see, I see my point now. <laughs> my point was that I think classical music is too intense and music with lyrics is too lyrics heavy. DJs, they have this music, don't they play like music with a lot of less words, like Barbra Streisand. It's just two words. Nobody gets confused with Barbra Streisand. It's fine. Barbra Streisand can enter the bedroom. And I googled a famous DJ. He was in Brighton. A fat, fat Slim Joe. No, it's not Fat Slim Joe. Fat, fat Joe. Fat Slim or something. He was in Brighton. He was at the beach. <laughs> That's a description that should normally, if you know him, know who he is. But maybe not. It's okay. Who is the DJ Fat Slim Joe? I found this on the web. Uh, Federal System Integration and Management Center. No. Whose DJ is Fat and Slim? So, but maybe it was not Joe. Here's what I found. Fat Boy, Fat Boy Slim. That's it, Fat Boy Slim. Fat Boy Slim, Jesus Christ, what a name. So I'm thinking maybe I do this music from the Fat Boy Slim. And I found the playlist on YouTube and it was great. It was great until the commercial break. It was about the hearing aid. Sensory neural hearing loss is the result of a problem in the inner ear. That is also not a thing you want to end having your sex playlist music. So if you have any music recommendations for sex playlists, um, please post them and I'm happy to create my own new playlist. I've said sex so many times. My mom is watching this video. Mom, don't recommend any song. <laughs> So I hope you have learned something. Please leave a comment and a post. Please like and share and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye. Bohemian recipes.